Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great today. In this video, we are diving into 10 valuable coins recently featured at RTG auctions, including some amazing error coins that collectors go wild for. You'd be shocked how easy it is to overlook these rare finds, don't risk spending them by mistake or tossing them out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, and let's jump right in. Did a penny like this one ever get in your hands? Appealing and the relatively modern date can be deceiving by presuming it is a damaged coin you can't be tossing away a significant sum of money. This 1985 delinquent cent is actually an error coin known as partial plating. The 1985 delinquent cent was a partial plating error where the reverse is missing. Its copper coating is an unusual error caused by issues during the minting process. Here's how it happens. Lincoln cents after 1982 are made with zinc core and zinc copper coating, which is applied before the blank is struck with the coin design. In some cases, the copper plating doesn't fully adhere to zinc core, or a plating issue occurs only on one side of the coin. If the reverse side lacks plating, it's likely due to the flow in copper coating process such as contamination or improper handling causing the copper layer to peel or fail to bond fully. The result is an exposed zinc surface on reverse which can be recognized by its grayish color different from usual copper hue. Collectors value these error coins because they are relatively rare and demonstrate a fascinating flow in the minting process. This one graded in mint state 64 red and brown by PCGS fetched $169. Moving on with this 1978 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Yes, you heard it right. This is another error coin impressed on a planchet. Intended for other coin, in this case, Roosevelt dime with almost similar diameter. Dime blanks are smaller and lighter than cent blanks, so resulting coin has a unique appearance when Lincoln cent design is struck on a smaller dime blank. The entire design doesn't fit on the coin, leading to a partial or incomplete details around the edges. This creates a visually striking error where parts of Lincoln's portrait or the outer text may be cut off or missing, with a thinner dime blank also giving the coin a distinct lighter weight. Error coins like these are popular among collectors for their rarity and the insight they provide into the minting process, especially in high-grade conditions like MS66. This 1978 Lincoln cent was sold for $528. Here is attractively toned 1958 D Franklin half dollar, graded in mean state 67 plus by PCGS and provided by CEC sticker. This coin is showcasing both high level of preservation and eye catching toning. Coins graded in 67 plus are among the best preserved examples with virtually no noticeable marks or imperfections, a strong strike, and excellent luster and eye appeal. The term attractively toned means the coin has developed a unique colorful surface hues likely due to a natural oxidation over time. Toning can range from subtle shades of gold to vibrant blues, greens, and purples, and collectors often prize attractively toned coins for their visual appeal. The CC sticker further indicates that this coin meets high quality standards for its grade, giving it extra desirability among collectors. This CAC proven silver gem ended up selling for $1020 on October 22nd, 2024 at 30 auctions. This 1954 Washington Quarter is notable for its impressive quality and high grade, with a mintage of over 54 million. This coin is relatively common in lower grades, but finding one in MS67 Plus like this one is much more challenging and desirable for collectors. In MS67 Plus, this quarter displays exceptional luster, sharp details and minimal contact marks, making it a standout piece. The Plus designation indicates that it is above the typical standards of MS67, which signifies outstanding quality. These toned specimen in MS67 Plus ended up selling for $552. Here is a 
Here we have 1972 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse, popular error variety where all obverse letterings are prominently die doubled. And the second impression is easy to spot with naked eye. The 1972 double die obverse is in M66 red condition. Is a highly prized coin among collectors. This variety features noticeable doubling on a verse site, especially in words Liberty in God We Trust and the date 1972, making it one of the most sought after double dies in Lincoln Sand series. This rare specimen was sold for $1020 on October 29, 2024. The 1939 Jefferson Nickel reverse of 1938 in proof 68th condition is a stunning proof Jefferson Nickel highly valued by collectors for its exceptional grade and unique reverse design. Reverse of 1938 refers to the original reverse die used in first year of the Jefferson Nickel series featuring sharper details in Monticello's steps and overall design. By 1939, the Mint introduced a new reverse with more refined details, so examples with 1938 reverse are rarer and more collectible. In PR68 grade, this coin is, is in nearly flawless condition with deep mirror-like surfaces, exceptional detail, and only slightest imperfections visible on their magnification. Such high-grade proof, uh, proof coin with original reverse is extremely desirable often fetching high prices in auctions due to its rarity and outstanding visual appeal. This specimen was sold for $1740 on October 29, 2024. The 1934 AS $1,000, graded in a mistake 64 by PCGS, is a desirable walking liberty half dollar known for its relatively low mintage. This coin struck at San Francisco Mint is popular among collectors for its scarcity in higher grades and its classic design by Adolf A. Weinman, featuring Lady Liberty walking towards a rising sun. In MS64, this coin has a strong eye appeal displaying good luster with only minor marks on or surface abrasions that are typical at this grade level. The details in Liberty's Gone and Eagle's Feathers are well defined, though not quite as sharp as in higher grades. Because MS65 and above examples are much rarer and command significantly higher premiums, the MS64 grade of offers a balanced quality and affordability, making it an attractive choice for collectors. This one fetched a sum of $900 recently at Heritage Auctions. It is no secret that 1932 quarter dollar is a key date in Washington quarter series. No matter it was struck in Philadelphia or Denver, so if you even have a badly handled or cleaned or environmental damaged one, it can make you a lot more than its face value. This 1932 D quarter dollar was harshly cleaned according to PCGS and the grading service assigned extremely fine details. In XF details, this coin still shows significant detail. Still key date Washington quarters like 1932 D are valuable in any condition and this example remains a viable option for collectors who prioritize rarity over perfect preservation. It was sold for $113. This is 1951 Lincoln cents struck on a silver dime planchet graded as XF45 by PCGS. This unique mistake occurred when a Lincoln set was mistakenly struck on a planchet intended for a silver dime, resulting in a fascinating piece that showcases the unique characteristics of both coins. It was sold for $960. And this is 2021 Lincoln Sand with major die break, an intriguing example of minting error graded in mint state 63 read by PCGS. A die break occurs when a piece of the coins die, it's a metal stamp used to strike coins, it breaks away, leading to a defect that can transfer to the coin struck after the break occurs. In this case, major die break uh, re likely resulted in a noticeable raised area or crack on the surface of the coin, which can create a unique or unique and collectible appearance. Such errors can manifest as dramatic distortions or additional material on coin's surface, making each affected coin distinct. Graded MS63 red indicates 
that this Lincoln scent has retained much of its original red coloration, a sign of its uncirculated status. The grade reflects some minor marks or imperfections, but overall, it is still considered a solid example. It was sold for $228. Thanks for joining me today as we explore these fascinating coins and their unique stories. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future updates. Your support means a lot. Take care and God's willing. See you in the next video.